Whiskey Pants, I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. Kara, okay, what do you have today? Today we have Ben Holiday. It's a Holiday. bottled in bond. Mm. Cool. So this comes out of Missouri. Did you know they the made The show me state. Ooh, show this me. is what they're trying to show us. Oh, I like that. Yeah. What else are they going to show us? The arch? I've been to the arch. Oh, there we go. There we go. This has got a really cool... Is that called a stagecoach? A, a stagecoach for the old tummy people like myself. They used to make stagecoaches, became one of the biggest manufacturing manufacturers of stagecoaches, and then sold that to Wells Fargo. So, crazy town. Transportation or something like that, yeah. Yeah, they became one of the biggest employers, private employers in the 1800s. So this Ben Holiday guy, he's a rich dude. And they resurrected yeah. the brand in mm. 2015, mm. did a huge remodel, mm -hmm. and started distilling bourbon. This particular batch went down in spring of 20, 2016, yeah. and then it was bottled in 2022, making it six what years old. What I can't find, though, is the mash bill on this thing, but it tells you a lot of other information about which floor and the warehouse that this is from and the percentage that they pulled the barrels from. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but I do want to ask, um, how long did it take you to open this bottle? So I was struggling for about uh, at least 10 minutes mm -hmm. and then I walked away because, because why did I have trouble with it? She couldn't get it. It's a screw top, ladies and gentlemen. It's a screw top. Yeah. Which can I just say, a lot of things did not notice it was are freaking amazing with the screw tops. Did notice that? Just bring back the screw tops. Not bad, not bad at all. I love it. So I'm getting a oh. a youthful corny note, but also peanuts. I'm getting sort of a floral fruity. Floral fruity. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I'm not getting any nuts, but it smells really good. Maybe it's just okay. Me. So I haven't heard of anything else that they I get release, the floral now. Mm -hmm. but um. I should have checked out the website, but I I didn't want to be biased. We'll to check it let out. Let us know notes. Yeah, but to release a whiskey at six years and then like stick with it and be like that's like your your main core. That's pretty. That's awesome pretty impressive. To sit that on they, that. To, they waited right? for six years. But actually, yeah, that is batch one. one. That actually has pretty good legs. Yeah, I have pretty good legs too. Sure. So. I retract the peanut. Mm -hmm. I'm getting more. It's um, yeah. I'm getting like a uh, it's a, a fruity little, floral. Yeah. Do you know what a, t a, a um, wood. ten percent reminds me of? Like a, just a hint of reminds me hmm. of um, what Redwood Empire's bourbon. Oh, I could see that actually. But what I am not getting is that no, no this outdoors. is no no outdoors because yeah. that is a note for people who live in the city and our outdoors is small. I'm not getting a big ethanol nose on it. It, it. it has a lot of depth to it. Like not just like, let's just burn your nose with ethanol or one note. It's got a lot going on for the nose considering that it's like a first release. They got it that, right I'm on get, the nose. I'm getting that fruitiness now. It's almost, um, it's not like apples or anything. It's almost like a, a fruity, like jam kind of, it's not a strawberry or raspberry. It's like more like plums, plumish. Plums? Plum. I like plum. Yeah, maybe. Or a pluot. I say let's get into this. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. It almost feels like I drink like a Jim Beam product at first. Agreed. And then... Do you get a hint of cherry on that? I got a little cherry that time. There's some fruit, but it's not like a, a dark kind of fruit. Um... And then it has like, wait, hold on. There's a weird mid, mid palette though. It reminds me a lot of like a younger Jim Beam product actually. It does. I get just a hint of nuttiness in the front palette. And I'm getting a little bit of almost maraschino cherry on the finish. And the, and the I can sort whole of see that going back on the second sip, but the first one I didn't. Yeah, the whole mid palette. Are you getting like, um, uh, not quite dusty oak, but maybe a two by four esque? Two by four, yeah. It's almost like like lacquer. Or varnish. Yeah. That too. Something around that, but it's not mm. it's not offensive. It's just it's just a weird note on the mid palette again. Slightly get. bitter wood. It's yes. Slight bitterness. And then it almost has like a cola on the finish. Like a slight cola to me. 
Are you getting that? Yeah. Like, what you thought was maraschino, when, until I went to the second one, maybe I thought was cola, because I'm like, wait a minute. I'm getting more cola than the cherry, actually. On the third and fourth sip, I'm getting more cola than I yeah. was cherry. That maraschino cherry, you kind of acclimate and it goes away a little yeah. bit. Uh, the fruit. Uh, this like is it. fascinating. What they're doing uh, is quite interesting since they basically reopened this distillery that existed in 1856 and mm -hmm. they're back to distilling since 2015, 2016, it sounds like. So it's on the same site as yeah. the previous uh, distillery was. Mm -hmm. I know they've obviously the ownership has changed hands many times, but they're mm -hmm. back to distilling bourbon in Missouri at this location, which is kind of cool. I think it's I think it's kind of promising of what they're doing. They're, I, they're I waited, like it. They waited yeah. six years to do yeah. it. Uh, the distillate is pretty dang good. Yeah, a little a little not overly nutty. No, a little no, no. bit of oak character and a little fruit at a hundred proof. Yeah. I would like to see them keep doing what they're doing and maybe see what it tastes like at eight years old. I would like to see more of my glass. It's not a bad idea. No, uh, there's if you put this in a blind. I think somebody would be super confused, but like, what Jim Beam is that? Like, I think it's so actually. It, it's not like strong nut though. It's not super nutty, but there's just something on it that just you're like, wait a minute. And I hate to compare um, a craft distiller that's right, to doing major. their own stuff to a major thing, but there's just something on that front palate that you're like, whoa, it's wait, a what? Nutty. And it doesn't drink crafty. You don't this get is nice. so. So sometimes you get some craft distillate has a little bit of a craft funk. Grain. Well, this is a little, I would say, a little corn youth, but not, mm. but not crafty no. youth. It's like a like a, it's like a young. It's a it's like a young Jim Beam. It's like a young yeah. major producer type of situation. So I know they revived the mash bill. From the eighteen from mm -hmm. eighteen fifty six, they're using the same Ben Holiday mash bill. Mm -hmm. They do not disclose that mash bill from what we could gather. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see. Maybe there are some similarities to the mash bill, or maybe the yeast that other distilleries from the past have been using, and they kept that. Who's who's to say? But the, yeah. it's very interesting. I don't of get, what they're doing. I don't get a lot of youthful as you I get corny. Yeah, but, but it's not offensive. Like, like not nothing like that's super like, young. No, it, yeah. this is definitely not a two-year-old bourbon, you know? No, you mean? no. I really am intrigued about the future of this distillery. Yeah, I, I would like, love to yeah. see where they're going. I'm not sure if they have any other plans uh, to do special releases or what have you, but I'm going to keep an eye out for some more out of Ben Holiday. Here's, here's, when I keep going back to it, I'm not getting traditional bourbon, like, sweetness, like caramel it's, and stuff like that. It's the, the slightly it's, savor. You don't get the dark caramels. No. It's less sweet. I kind of like that. Because I sometimes bourbon can be super, super sweet. And that's why I, occasionally I'll grab, a, like, a Dicko product because hmm. it's a little salty, so it helps balance that sweetness. I like this because it's not super dark brown sugar. It's a yeah. little bit lighter. More of a... Uh, a tinge of honey peanut mm -hmm. rather than dark molasses. It has a nice little little spice at the end. I like it. I like it. And uh, it's priced around 55, 60 bucks, I think, around there. Not so bad. It, for uh, their own distillate, that's six years. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, and it's at 50 proof and not like some 43, 45, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. for the age. But I, I really enjoy this. I do. For, I for a, a small distillery. I enjoy it. So, what do you guys think? Have you heard of Ben Holiday, and have you had a chance to try their Bottled and Bond bourbon? If you have, or if you have any thoughts on this wonderful craft distillery out of Missouri, please give us a comment below. And while you're down there, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel, and turn on your notifications, and you can join us in our next video. Well, I don't know about you, but I... Fancy this whiskey. I'm fancy this whiskey, and uh, it's a screw top, and they don't fail us. They've come through. Never break a cork if it's a screw top. True. Cheers.